Hello and welcome to this quick tip tutorial. I just want to show you about how to create audio and video tracks when say your video tracks are completely full and you need to create a new track or if you've got audio tracks and they aren't stereo when your default setting is stereo how you can change all that on the fly and not really have to worry about setting up and making new tracks. Firstly I'm just going to show you how the standard setup works. So if I go to the new items icon and click sequence and I go to tracks this third tab on the window you'll see that this is the default way that Premiere Pro is going to set things up. So it's going to say I've got three video tracks, that the master audio is going to be stereo, that there will be no mono tracks but there will be three stereo tracks and there'll be no 5.1 tracks. However I do have the option of also adding in submixes. Now submixes would take individual tracks, send them to a submix for a particular series of effects which would then go out and into the master. So I can set up different submixes, be they mono, stereo or 5.1. So I can set up an awful lot from this box if I know what it is. For instance, if I'm working in 5.1 surround sound, I might want to instantly set my master up as 5.1 and have zero stereo channels and three 5.1 channels. And then it's set up and I can go with that. And I can save that as a preset if I wish. So that's a very simple way of setting up bits and pieces that you want if you know what you have. But what if you've got a whole mixture of different bits and pieces in your project panel and you need to bring them into your standard settings? So I'm going to cancel this and just quickly show you how to do that. Now firstly look at these icons. You see these two speakers here back to back. That means this is a stereo track. So I have three stereo tracks and my master is also a stereo track. And I've got one piece of footage in here which has got a stereo track. Okay, what happens if I've got another piece of footage but that piece of footage has actually got a mono track associated with it. Do I need to create a new track? Well what I could do, either on video or audio, in this header section here, not in the main body but in the header, you can right click anywhere and you can add tracks and delete tracks. So I could add a number of tracks and I could add more video tracks or audio tracks or more submixes. So I can do all of that by just right clicking and also you can delete empty tracks. So if I right click and I choose delete tracks, I could delete all empty tracks or I could delete specific tracks if I want to. So you can right click and do it, but rather than having to go through all of that to create a new track, how do I bring in something with mono? Well I have one piece of footage here which has got mono tracks. So if I drag off to the end of this clip here, can you see what has happened at the bottom of my timeline window? It's showing the video track is carrying quite happily along on video track 1, but it's also showing the audio right at the bottom, and when I let go, I'm just going to scroll up, you'll actually see that this piece of footage didn't have a stereo track, it had two mono tracks. And this is a stereo icon, these are the mono icons. And what it did is it automatically created two brand new tracks for me. I didn't have to do anything, it just recognised that these were mono tracks and created brand new mono tracks for me, I didn't have to do anything. Now I also have in my project panel this audio track which is actually 5.1 surround sound. And if I click it and drag it and pull it down to audio, I can't drop it anywhere else, but can you see once again, right at the bottom it's creating a new track for me. It won't let me put it where stereo or mono tracks are, but when I let go and I scroll down, you'll see that a new, and you can see the icon 5.1, a new 5.1 track has been created. I didn't have to do anything, I just dragged it into my timeline, Premiere Pro interpreted it immediately and said OK, well it needs to be here, and created the new track for me. And if this was how I wanted to finish, and I've got these empty tracks in the middle, well that's when I would right click, delete tracks, and I would choose audio tracks, delete audio tracks, all empty tracks, and then click OK, and then I end up with one stereo channel, two mono channels, because this happens to be split mono, and a 5.1, and my master is still there at the bottom. OK, so what happens if I want to bring in a new video layer and my tracks are already full? Well, it's as simple as this. Let's, uh, let's just bring in another piece of video. Uh, let's just bring in the same piece of footage again just for demonstration purposes. And I'm just going to stretch this up so that we can see a little bit more clearly what's going on. So I'm going to grab hold of the piece of footage. Now I could simply put it over the top and do an overlay edit. Or I could put it over any of the other available video tracks. Although notice that the audio will only go either in that one place or create a new stereo track for me right at the bottom. But what I can do is I can drop it right at the top in this grey area. And as soon as I drop it in the grey area and let go, it creates a brand new video track for me. All I needed to do was grab it, drop it in the grey area, and a new video track is created. 
And that's how you can create new video layers or audio layers without any trouble at all and know that they'll be interpreted properly. Well, I hope you found this quick tip tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.